Hi everyone, my name is Mike Rennick. Oh, excuse me, I have a phone call. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello, I can't hear you. Hello, try it again. Hi everyone, as I was sharing before that phone call, and that was part of the script that was a play on what we're talking about. My name is Mike Rennick. I am the team lead, the senior broker of Team Rennick, part of that great Mangrove Realty Associates family. This is the third update we're doing on the Verizon cell towers on the north end of Longboat Key, but we have some great news. We all understand, and we've probably all wrestled with, the fact of dropped calls up here. Coverage is spotty at best. So the first step in solving a problem is to have a plan. And now we have one here on Longboat Key. So let's talk about what the town commissioners have done recently. So they've approved a plan, we shared it was going through the planning stages and up to the commission, to construct a network of nine cell, nine small cell poles to alleviate the problems we've had. So these will be 5G ready, which will be a tremendous step forward. So the next step after this is they have to go to state and federal for approval for their plan. But this is the first step, and this is good news. This was the highest hurdle to cover. So where are the poles going to go? On Gulf of Mexico Drive, seven poles will be placed. They're ranging from the North Shore Drive to the 5,000 block of Gulf of Mexico Drive. These poles will be 35 feet in height. There'll be another pole placed on um, Bananical Point Drive, and there'll be one at the corner of Broadway and Lois Drive in Long, Bo in Long Beach Village. These two will be 25 feet high. The color, they're going to be a flat back, black. They're trying to match the color of the lamp post or the lights that are going to go here on the island. So it looks like it's a unified or a uniform uh, solution here. They estimate that this project will be done sometime in 2023, which is good news. That's not that far away. So we'll be able to make connections. We'll be able to talk to folks. Um, Verizon would have preferred to have higher poles. That was part of their plan. But to keep it within the ordinance of Longboat Key and the aesthetics of the rest of the changes happening, they've all agreed to do that. So the, just for some background information, the Longboat specifications for poles are no more than 35 feet around uh, the Gulf of Mexico Drive and 25 feet in the subdivision areas. So all of this is coming to a head. We'll see this by 2023. This is good news. So this is Verizon. What happened if you're not a Verizon customer? Well, there may be a solution. So Verizon customers are going to get the biggest advantage. By the way, that includes all of the town phones and uh, all the first responders will benefit from this new uh, network. But if you're AT&T or T-Mobile or something, they could come forward just like Verizon with their own plan to see if they can get that approved. Or they can opt to try to um, go in with Verizon with a business arrangement where they can share the polls and the technology. So hopefully all carriers will be covered because competition in my mind is best. We can choose the carrier that works best for us. So this is the last update for a while. We've got a plan, it's going forward. It needs state and federal uh, approval on this, but that should flow through really smooth. So Verizon's been working closely with the city commission. So this is Mike Rennick. Share your thoughts on the link below with the blog. My personal, my direct cell is 941-400. 8735. Thanks for watching.